I'm going to show you how to clean the Schmidt Cassegrain Telescope's corrector plate using our non-spray first contact polymer. There's just not a whole lot of surface area on a corrector plate even up to a telescope as big as like a 14 inch. So I'm just going to use non-spray on it. A couple of things to note on all corrector plates is sandwiched between the secondary mirror mount and the plate itself is a fibrous gasket. I'll zoom in on that gasket so you can see it. And you can just see the edge of the gasket there down at the lower edge of the film. Now this gasket is typically fibrous or possibly plastic and the polymer will stick to it. So it's best to avoid getting polymer on that gasket. Otherwise it will be difficult to get it to release from that gasket. The second thing to make note of is the retaining ring that holds the plate in place. It doesn't have a real tight fit to the corrector plate and so it um, can allow the polymer to wick underneath that corrector plate. That's another reason that using non-spray polymer is much easier. You just don't have to mask anything off. You don't have to worry about getting polymer under that corrector plate as long as you just don't uh, put apply the polymer too close to it. So with that I'm going to get started and start applying polymer to the corrector plate. You can apply the polymer in our small 15 milliliter applicator bottle but it it would be rather time consuming to brush it all in an area like that. So what I'm going to do today is actually use one of our 30 mil vials and a pipette to drop polymer onto the surface and spread it around with a brush. Now notice I say spread. We're not brushing the paint onto the surface. You're merely using the surface tension of the polymer to spread the polymer across the surface. So let's go ahead and do a small area and then we'll continue on. I'll show you how to do it. First I suck up a small amount into the pipette and just keeping away from that a little bit away from that uh, fibrous gasket I'm going to apply a little bit on there. We'll just spread a little bit out right here and we'll just do a little semicircular area right here. Now notice I've stayed away from either the fibrous gasket or the outside edge, the retaining ring on the corrector plate. Now I'm going to go ahead and spread that polymer out with a brush. You've got a few minutes to work with the polymer before it starts uh, thickening up. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's a brush. This is a, a small fan hog's hair brush. We do have other types of brush available or you can get your own at a local artist store or, or a hardware store. So I'm just going to take this and spread it close but not touch that fibrous gasket and you can see I'm just using the brush at a slight angle and just spreading the polymer. Alright, so now you get the idea of how I'm doing it. I'm going to go ahead and just coat the rest of it and then we'll wait for it to dry and peel it off. All right, we've got the surface of the corrector plate all coated, and we're just gonna wait it to dry, wait for it to dry, and then come back and peel it off. Now that the polymer's partially dry, I'm going to embed a piece of chemical resistant nylon mesh into it to allow us a handle to remove it once it's completely dry. 
you have to allow the polymer to slightly set up before you can put the mesh in place. So I'm going to just use the small applicator bottle now and put just a little bit of polymer here to get a, a wet area. Now put the mesh in place and I bend the mesh at a 90 degree angle so it sticks up off the surface and I will set that into the polymer now and then just take the brush in the applicator bottle and apply a little bit more over top of it so it embeds into the polymer. Now we can just let that all dry off and I'll peel it once it's dry. Our polymer is dry now so let's go ahead and remove this dry polymer film. You can see it just peels right off, comes up around the center secondary mount, came right off.